Hey guys, it's Bart Johnson here. Uh, today I wanted to make a short video for you guys on something that is quite important but oftentimes can be overlooked and that is file organization uh, both for archiving purposes and for editing purposes. I myself am a professional producer, editor, and cinematographer so I've got tons of footage for tons of different projects coming in and I need to find a way to organize everything so that I always know where everything is. So today I'm going to show you a little bit of how I organize some of my personal stuff and some of my professional stuff and hopefully it'll help you guys out. So if we go in here you can see that I have a ton of hard drives connected to my computer. I've actually done a video on um, how I have my hard drives set up and how I have my backup storage set up so you guys can go ahead and check out that video um, but I'm just gonna go in here my main sort of home file server is my Drobo so if I go into my Drobo here you can see I have everything laid out I have assets audio camera picture profiles for loading into uh, my cameras the ones that take picture profiles this one has the the 5D Mark III with the Cine style and my XF300. I have some profiles for that. I have a library I've been building of looks and LUTs for all these various different cameras. Um, I have presets um, for my media encoder. Sometimes when you upgrade an Adobe version, sometimes those don't stick around and I have to reinstall. Um, I have some scripts for stuff, software backups, um, templates, and then the big video folder. So here I have all sorts of stuff. I have my YouTube videos, video blocks uploads, uh, that's where I upload and create my stock footage that I sell on video blocks. I have work projects for my full-time job, business projects through my company, Bart Johnson Productions, personal projects, and some stock footage. So I keep all this stuff organized in here. Um, if then you go into, let's say we go into YouTube videos, it breaks down a little bit further, and I have videos and assets. Now, assets is all of the stuff that I use in my videos that go in every video. Um, the subscribe animation, my intro animation, uh, music that I use, all this is used in all of my YouTube videos. So I keep it in one folder as opposed to putting it in every single project so I can always link back to these. And if I go into the videos, here I have folders for each of the videos that I have put up. Um, so it keeps everything fairly organized. I, I need to get a little bit more organized with this as I do more and more videos. I kind of want to organize them by year um, and a little bit maybe even deeper to you know the specific dates. But for the time being, there's not too many. So this keeps me pretty organized here. So if we go into one of these projects, Let's, for example, go into my Edelkrone slider review that I just recently finished. You see in here I have even more of a breakdown. So I have the project file folder, I have footage, and I have exports. So I have my project file right there. Go into my footage. I have some screen flow stuff that I put here, and then I also have footage from my XF300 and from my 5D Mark III, so all that's in there. And then when you go into exports, I have my exports. So this keeps everything nice and concise and organized. I know where everything is. Now, the reason there's not a ton of other assets and stuff in here is because within my project file, I actually link back to these assets so I don't need copies of these all over the place I can keep them in one location and use them for all of my videos so that works out very well now for some more complex projects um, ones that I work on professionally I usually have media coming in in all sorts of different forms so let me show you an example of one of those so here's an example of one of the more elaborate films that I just did for a client and as you can see, I have a lot more stuff in here than just my basic YouTube video. Um, a lot of times they'll send me pre-existing material and images and logos and graphics and all sorts of stuff. And I need to be able to keep all that organized. So at the top here, I have an additional materials folder where this is all the stuff that they sent to me uh, to possibly use in the video. And I did end up using quite a bit of it. 
documents. This is all the stuff for the planning of the video, our shooting schedule, our script, the call sheet for the crew, everything right there. Um, exports has all my revisions of the exports as well as a folder with the final versions once everything is done. The footage folder has all of my various cards that I shot while shooting this and they were all XD cam actually shot on the Sony FS7. Then I have logos with all the logos they sent me, lower thirds because we have specific lower thirds animations that we use for these so I have all the information there. Music, I download a ton of royalty free music samples and put it in there. The project file. Revision materials, this is new stuff they wanted to add after uh, we had gone through our initial version. They added some, some media for me. And then stock footage, uh, some stock footage that I used in it. Now, the beauty of this is that this entire project is self-contained. Everything that this project file needs is contained in these folders. And what that means is that I can take this and I can copy this folder to any other hard drive, give it to any of my colleagues, my coworkers, or in the end, we'll actually be sending it all to the client themselves. And what happens is as soon as they open up this project, all of the media is going to be there. It's going to work. It doesn't matter what system it's on. There's not, um, there's not a file or a clip or something that I use that is buried somewhere on my computer. Everything is self-contained within this folder. So this type of organization is extremely important and makes it so that multiple editors can work on this project and we can pass the single folder all around and it's absolutely no problem. So keeping organized is a really big part of both personal and business videos. Um, and it's something that you really want to get out in front of because trying to clean stuff up after the fact is just such a pain. So starting with an organizational structure is uh, the best idea. So the importance of file organization goes even further than just the files on your computer. You definitely want to also organize your files within your project in Premiere. So here is that project we were looking at earlier uh, with the file structure for one of my clients. And as you can see, I have a lot of the same folders over here that I had in my finder window. I have the same sort of organizational structure. I have my additional materials and everything here. I have the logos. I have the lower thirds. I have music and revision material, stock footage, etc. So all of that I can import the folders directly in. Helps me keep everything organized and I know where everything is. I go one step further with the footage and I break it into my interviews by person and my b-roll and I put the b-roll into folders that are relevant. So I have exteriors I have the signs for the center and I have the different labs that I was in shooting. So this allows me to keep everything extremely organized and while I'm editing I know exactly where everything is, I can get to it quickly and everything isn't just all over the place. So there you go guys, I hope that helps you out and gives you some ideas of how to organize your files and even your media within your Adobe Premiere project. It's extremely important to do, not just for your sanity, but if you're working with clients or if you're going to be working with other editors or colleagues, you really need to have some sort of system in place that keeps everything organized. So all of a sudden when you open a project, and there's media missing or something's wrong, you're not gonna have to go hunting across various platforms. And also, it just makes everything faster because you know where everything is. So I hope this video helped you guys out. And uh, as always, please go ahead and subscribe.